Welcome back to EA Sports' final game of the road trip, and I'm not sure they're ready to go home just yet tonight. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Red Wings will start with the puck as they win the opening faceoff here. Puck knocked loose in neutral zone. Quick feed to Huberto. maker on the ice James and sometimes it happens in all different ways and right here it happens because he wasn't afraid to compete for that puck Calgary's got the game's first goal here in the first and perfect road approach right silence the crowd Cheryl well yeah and you got to start with some energy and you got to get your lines into the game right away and that's exactly what they did they're like a wave of momentum and they capitalize on their opportunity Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Detroit's got it in their own zone. And now it's over to Larkin. Quick shot! Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Dumps the puck in. Taken along the wall by Sharon Govich. Shot! Oh, what a stop by Reimer! You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. What a stop! Oh, he saved it! Oh my goodness, what a stop! That's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Cuffs up possession of the puck. The Flames gain possession along the wall. Great reach with the poke check by Gostas Bear. Sends it over to Cop. Oh, he destroys them on the play! You want to send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone-crushing hit, that does just that. Calgary's still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. Detroit's got it, and they're on the attack. Nice save off the tender's pad. Takes the feed. Puck scooped up by Hannafin. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. His reflexes on display tonight. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. And now he moves it quickly to Tube. Tosses it on to Coleman. Poked away by Mata. Sends the pass over. Oh, he gets all that one with the pad. Puck is grabbed here at center ice by Manjapani. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. The Flames get a hold of the puck along the boards. Right in front with the shot. Blocked in traffic. And he takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Rizichka. And now it's grabbed by Manchapani. Detroit's got possession of the puck. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Well, it's kind of hard to protect a one-goal lead when you're sitting in the box and your team's short-handed, James. The PK unit's going to have to find a way to stave off the power play here and get the job done. The Red Wings win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Played big in the moment there. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he... Stop! Smokers on the ball, and that's his first of the year! James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have the hard stick be heavy on it, with it on the ice, battling for heat for it. He does it, and he buries it. Here in the late going to the frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Flames get a hold of the puck off the draw. Moves it to Sharkovich. Cuts to the paint, and he elects to explore his options. Moves the puck. 
like something happened in the offensive zone. Huge steal at his own end. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Detroit's got a hold of the puck. Oh, and a great heads up play to force the turnover by Lindholm. Moves it quickly over to Kopp. Slides the puck to Wallman. Drives to the sweet spot. And he takes the dish. Smart defensive play there. Shoot the puck. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. Look for our food donation boxes located. And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. A tightly contested 20 minutes to start. Let's see if this continues here in the second. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? Calgary's fortunate to be in a game here. I mean, it's tied heading into the second period, and they did not have the bulk of the play. Why? Because they turned the puck over way too many times. There's different areas of the ice where you're more vulnerable. they got to get out of those spots and find a way to move the puck quickly. Now he takes it over the line. Quick shot! Puck grabbed by Perron. to Sider. And that nullifies that threat for the moment. Calgary's got the puck against the boards. Oh, a clutch save! Reimer's been consistent over the course of his career, mainly because of his positioning, James. He gets set to that puck square to it and makes the save. And a strong effort on that play. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Centering pass in front. Couldn't complete the pass. Sends a pass over. Here's a shot. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Takes the puck. Picked up along the boards by Perron. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Pop's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. More than half the period left to play. We got a tie game. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Taken by Backlund. Quick feed to Tube. Turned aside with a glove. Takes the feed. The Red Wings pick up steam and are on the attack. Penalty coming up here. Tube's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Well, the success earlier on the power play, that would look to set up the overload again. No question about it if they win the faceoff, James. It's all about puck movement along the wall, down low. You know that you're moving it. You're all on one side of the ice. But the key is that you've got to open up the lane quickly, be able to move the puck to attack. Here's a short pass to Comper. Slick feed. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Looking to get it out, and they clear the zone, and that'll shave some time off. A great sequence by the PK unit. Really aggressive, close quickly on the puck, and they get it down the ice. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. The Red Wings gain control of the puck. Moves the puck to Bear Brennan. Detroit's moving it into the offensive end. The Red Wings play it along the wing. Hammers went from the point. That lies up in front. And he loses control here. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. Picked up along the wall by Sider. Beardrin's got control of the puck in the corner. That's blocked. Moves it to Anderson. Trying to escape the defensive zone. And they get the puck out of the zone, and they'll go off for a line change. Well, this is exactly what you want. You spend some time in your own zone, you get the change. Now you got fresh legs to be able to attack, apply pressure on their opponent. 
The Flames have it behind the net. Moves it quickly over to Sharon Govich. And they keep the pressure on. Detroit's got the puck in their own end. Takes the pass. Detroit's going to play it from the corner. Deep inside the defensive end, still trying to clear. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. Dubé's almost out of the box. The Flames manage the damage control. We are still tied as we're back to even strength. Well, it's a critical juncture. Game is tied and the PK unit does a real great job of keeping it there. More than half the frame has been played here. We are all tied up in this one. The Flames take possession after that neutral zone faceoff. And now he angles it across to Rosichka. On the attack along the boards. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Gostas Bear. Larkin swooping in on the attack. Quick pass to Hannafin. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Quick feed to Perron. Passes over to Larkin. And cut that one out of the net. Tries to get it to Hannafin. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Here's a shot, and that misses. Sometimes players get into those scoring areas. They try and get a little too cute, and that's a result right there, not hitting the net. Answered the call there. Reimer has been dominant in the crease tonight. He's turned away a lot of high danger shots, and he's really found a way to build some momentum for his team, giving him a real opportunity to win. Denies him on the play. The Red Wings moving ahead. Detroit's got the puck in the corner. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. We are underway here in the third, and this could come down to next goal wins. Here's a short pass to Sharon Kovic. The Red Wings have it against the wall. Raymond's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Stop! Well, who needs the man advantage of the extra attacker as they quickly strike? Well, they had possession. They recognized the lane. And to be truthful, the defense and structure, well, they just collapsed and played soft. You've got to be able to attack, and then result, a goal. The Red Wings needed that in a big way. They now have the lead here in this third period. It's been a back and forth game. It's really been neck and neck. And although I felt like they dictated the pace in this third period, it's about continuing to press and really try to smother their opponent. And that's off a stick. Grabbed along the board by Weger. Knocked away with the stick by Larkin. Detroit's got the puck against the half wall. The Flames gain possession in their own end. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Already in, get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Tried to put it in the side and missed. Well, there's a recognition that he didn't have much room, gets a little bit fine and just misses wide. Free to rip it off a stick. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Important task for the PKers ahead of them, up by one, and a real opportunity protected. The Flames get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James, finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on net. Gets a pat on it, what a stop by Reimer. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. And that's off a stick. Takes a shot, and he had an answer with that save. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. There's a shot. There's a save. There's a hit on the play. And that slides right out to center ice. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Centering feed. In front. Feeds it to Mata. Working to shake the pressure from the defensive zone. And they get it out. Anderson's lugging the puck. And that's 
poked away by Cop. Puck picked up by Anderson. Winds up, lets it go. Oh, stick save and a puke. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Mata is in a lot of pain here, James. You can see it in his face as he's hobbling and laboring, trying to get back to the bench. Anytime you're injured, you want to know exactly where the play is. You don't want to put your team in a vulnerable spot, but you got to get off. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Picked up here in the neutral zone by Roman. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Big play inside the defensive zone. Polato's taking it from his own end. The Flames gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. And he shuts the ball on that. They score! And putting it home on the power play, and we have even things up here tonight. Right from the beginning of that power play, James, there just was a confidence about them. The way they own the puck, the precision in the movements, the motion in the offensive zone, and they cash in to tie this game. The Red Wings win possession here in the open ice. Here we go, odd man rush here. Here's a chance, and that goes off a stick. The Flames will play it in their own end. Detroit's got a hold of it against the wall. Now a quick pass to Sider. All great little takeaway at center. The Red Wings have it from their own end. Sends it quickly to Hannafin. Detroit's got the puck now. Moves it to Comper. Moves it to the middle. And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. You can feel the energy in the building right now in this tight game. The pressure is on. You have to find a way to embrace it at this moment. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Seattle's on the schedule next, and tickets still available for this one, so get them before they're gone. Past the midway mark in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And off the draw, they take the puck. The Red Wings played along the boards. That opportunity is rejected. There's another stop. Well, he has been under siege. I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. And there's a little boost from off the wing as the centers were tied up there. Here they come on the rush. Scores him on the play! And he'll opt to play the puck here. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Here's a centering pass. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Handles the puck. Shot. and you can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. And he takes the pass. We got a whistle, penalty coming up. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're PKing. The Flames will go to work here in the offensive zone. Oh, they telegraphed the pass and he picks it off. Calgary's gained possession along the boards. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Pass back to the point. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Big hit. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Molino is moving pretty slowly out there. Really looks shaken up. Takes a shot. Too much congestion in front. Lindholm's not going to be able to get away from the booze and the chance every time he touches the puck, all because of that play earlier where he hurt their player. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Detroit's playing it from the side. 
Calgary's got control of it now from their own end. Knocked away by Fisher. Moves it quickly over to Mangiapane. Almost down to the final minute here in this third. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Strong defensive effort. And there's another penalty call against the home team. These fans are frustrated. Cheryl, I think these calls are legit. I just think that the fans are wondering, what about the other side here? Well, yeah, and they got to be expecting to get one soon here, as it is one side. And it's so hard for a team to get into the game when there's no flow because you keep grading yourself to the box. Sherrod stick handling in his own zone. On the attack, they come down the right wing. In close! Nice save from point blank range. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly. He's able to negate the shot. Camp inside still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Locks him up on the draw as they take possession. And he slides it quickly to Dubé. And that's knocked away by Sherrod. Takes the bump and loses control of the puck. And some good footwork to kick it away. Dubé's, well, you can't do that or you're going to find your way marching over to the box. Play with some dead penalty coming up. Really tough call to take. I mean, it's the end of the third period. You're down by a goal. You've got to find a way to generate some offense, and now you wind up shorthanded. Five seconds to go. Big save just as time runs out. There's the horn, and that's the hockey game. So the win streak comes to an end tonight, but I'll tell you what, they didn't go down without a fight. Yeah, James, they started it off like they were in control of the game and looking like they were going to continue on their heater, but their opponent had something to say about it. But it was a great game, back and forth action. Listen, they may not have won the game, but look for them to continue to press. They could have another streak ahead of them. Thanks so much for joining us here. It was a fun one to call, and we will see you soon. For all of us here at EA Sports, stay safe.